Welcome to all my beautiful subscribers. Welcome back to my channel. Let's get your message. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. I only take messages that resonate. Spirit, guys, universe, ancestors of the highest white light. Give me messages for Scorpio, please, and thank you. And as I open myself up, I ask that you protect my energy as I do so. So let's see what's going on. Whoa. So my body just started to overheat. And I'm in Scorpio's energy? So your person is definitely sending you a lot of energy. You could be getting a lot of heat waves. Like all of a sudden, my body just started to overheat. So your person is trying to connect to you energetically. Okay, they're sending you a lot of energetic energy. Let's see what's going on. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, this person's energy is strong. Dang. This person could be, <sighs> we got, I dream of you consistently that it drives me insane to not be with you. That came out in Gemini's energy. We got, I know we share a very sacred and spiritual connection. That came out in Leo's, Virgo, and it's coming out in Scorpio's energy as well. We have, op, okay, we got a channel message from Divine Masculine. He wants to apologize. It's the same channel message from Leo. So maybe you can go check that out and see what Divine Masculine has to say to you from Leo's energy, okay? This is the channel message from this masculine, okay? I'm not going to read it, repeat it, because it's in Leo's reading. Go check it out, and you can hear the channel message your masculine has to say to you. So, Spirit Guys Universe, give me more. We have Pluto, transformation, power, death, rebirth, evolution. So, this person is definitely going through a death and rebirth. This is Scorpionic energy, but Pluto here. Okay... So you are connected to the material and the spiritual world, okay? So this person is connected to you spiritually, but they they could be trying to tell you that they're about to arrive in the 3D. So if you are feeling your person's energy very strongly, it's because this person is on, like this person is, who I can't even get it out. I'm going to just keep quiet there because spirit must don't want me to say it. But just know if you're feeling your person's energy a lot, okay, that's because they're person. Anyway, we have cancer. If you know, you know. We have cancer, nurturing, supportive, healing, compassionate, unconditional loving. Okay, this person miss your unconditional love. This person miss, miss you nurturing on them. Okay, this person needs healing with this cancer energy. Okay, so your energy could be very healing. This person could be all over the place right now because they're refusing to let you go. So this person is holding on to you energetically very tightly, okay? So your person has a tight grip on you energetically, so you will feel them very strongly. And then this person will release you, release your energy once you get connected to them. We have third eye. So you definitely are tapped in, okay? You're in tune with your person. Beautiful. We got the first time I laid eyes on you, you took my breath away. So you and this person could have been doing a lot of staring or you and this person stares at each other's eyes a lot. Or this person missed staring at your eyes, three, three, three. So you're definitely connected with your person and your person is connected with you because they're awakening because of you. The first house, yeah, identity. This person is finding their self. This person is self-conscious, ego focus appearance so this person is going through an ego death whoa y'all person ain't playing y'all person doing the work congratulations to these masculines they're waking up they're doing the work you said look i'm tired of playing with these these goddamn sewer hoes sewer rats they tired of playing with them damn sewer rats that's giving out diseases and shit and making people sick for no reason because now nobody want to be with your crusty butt ass don't sit your ass down crusty butt the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> we got, I am dealing with depression and I don't want you to see me this way. So this person is definitely dealing with some form of depression. So they're definitely going through some healing right now. But you are definitely receiving a lot of intuitive messages from your person. Okay, they could be going through a, I don't know why I heard a midlife crisis, 444. So this person is going through a midlife crisis or identity crisis because they're going through a death of the ego. So this person is still 
in need of soul searching, okay? Or well, this person is doing a lot of soul searching. This person is in hermit mode. So go check out Virgo Energy, okay? What's this? We have Sur Surya, Sun God, dispelling darkness, curing disease, and heating and illuminating the world. Hindu God of the Sun, supreme soul who brings light and warmth to the world. So this person is definitely this could like this person is definitely clearing out any type of darkness or toxicity. This person could be also healing from some form of sickness, whatever that is. Okay. Um, you are helping this person see the light. So this person could have been in a very dark place. This person was in the dark night of the soul for a minute. That's why the turtle spirit kept coming out because this person been trying to hold on or refuse change. This person was refusing change, okay? And now they don't have no choice to because their ancestors and spirit guides is whooping their ass. We got, I miss the sweet conversations we used to share. So this person is definitely miss talking to you, okay? So this person is definitely going to make a way to get to you now. You could be getting a lot of visions of this person. Okay, you can just be seeing this person a lot in your third eye. Or well, this person is seeing you a lot. Okay? Uh, or seeing you and other people thinking that they seeing you. Okay? Let's see what else we got. I love you. So this person wants to tell you they love you. If your person haven't told you they love you, yes, they do. They love you, baby. Okay? Let's see. Give me more. We have angel number 313, which is success in moving forward during difficult times and still move forward with a positive mind. Your angels are encouraging you to give support and strength. Get rid of fears and negative emotions that hold you back. So this person is getting rid of any negative emotions and feelings that was hindering them from moving forward. Okay, this person is gaining the strength and confidence to move forward and release and let go their ego. Okay, they're putting their ego to rest because they know that they cannot come towards you in an egotistical way okay it would not work okay you have to go through an ego death to fully heal and transform into your true authentic self okay not caring about what other people places and things have to say about you because you are comfortable in your skin okay as within so without we have 717 you can be saying angel number 717 you will be presented with a wealth of opportunities that match your positive intentions and soul's desires, remain open and optimistic and dedicated. So some of you guys have been in this very optimistic energy, okay? You're staying open and willing to receive the blessings that come to you from the universe, from your spirit guides, from your ancestors, and the most high. Y'all is in some beautiful as energy, Scorpios, okay? Y'all are like breezing through tests, I'm telling you. That's what that obedience do to you. When you sit up here and you listen to God and do what he tell you to do, things will come to you so easily. Like, I'm not going to say like easily, like, oh, I can just go outside and pick shit off the tree. Oh, it's mine. It's like, no, it's all about your mindset. You have to continue to keep changing your mind. You have to keep killing off the old parts of you, whatever those old programs are that you're still holding on to. Those are the parts of you that are supposed to die off. It's like layers of you that's supposed to be peeled back. And it's so funny because when I was talking to... Anyway, I'm not going to say too much. Um, Because it's people... It's karmics that be all up on YouTube trying to do all they... Whatever they got going on. They hocus pocus and shit to stop and block actual true twins. But if you know, you know. Uh, He was basically like... Uh, they like layers. You know when somebody is like unhealed or needed to heal because it's like layers you got to peel back like an onion. It was something he said like that. And I was like, and now it's making sense because you do have to pull back old layers of yourself in order to get to that beautiful, that beautiful center of the flower. Okay. So it's like you having to release and die off old parts of you that you no longer wants to be, see, or be around okay so it's always about growing and changing okay i cannot stress this enough i say this so much on so many of my readings about changing okay it's inevitable you have to change all right to find more understanding within yourself and why you're called to do certain things at certain times in certain places you give it a say you get me you, you, you're freaking down feel me we got throw sharper. So a lot of you guys are speaking in, standing in your truth. 
okay? The ability to speak and communicate clearly and effectively and balance attributes. So whatever tight grip or whatever magic was on your throat chakra, it has been broken, okay? You are now able to fluently and effectively communicate whatever it is that you're feeling, emotions, okay? You're able to con connect to your tribe now, like... If you was in hiding or people was doing all this hocus pocus to keep you in hiding, you're now is going to the forefront. Like you're being pushed to the front. Okay. It's like now spirit is about to just throw you out of And you don't even know. It's like you're going through an audition, but you not even focused about being going through an audition because you just being you. That's the beauty about it. Being you. Some people get up on camera and they so conscious and aware about what they're doing, but they're saying how they supposed to say it. Nah, just let that shit flow. I guess because I'm a water sign, so that shit just going to flow anyway. Okay? <laughs> like, that's just how it's going to be. Like, it's just going to flow. It's nothing else I can say or do. It's just my element. Okay? Like, I just be so in tune. So, yeah. If... You're imbalanced, you will have shyness, being withdrawn, arrogance, and increased anxiety, okay? So this person could have be getting over their anxiety, okay? Or working through some form of anxiety. This person could be doing a lot of meditating, okay? They could be trying to connect their chakras together. So this person could be having some informities or imbalanced chakras, okay? I picked up the root chakra in the last one, in the last read for German, Gemini. Okay, because this person was doing root work on you because they wanted to keep you, they wanted you to be bound to them. Okay, they didn't want nobody else to like be interested in you because this person wants you so bad that they already is claiming you as theirs. And y'all not even together. Like this masculine is going through a transformation. They're clearing out old karmic debt that they tried to bring in this lifetime with you. So by you clearing off your debt with this person, you had to release this person and surrender and give it to the divine. Twill, twill. As this person find their way out of the darkness, but you were still of a light to this person so they can always see at the end of the tunnel that they still had ways to go, 1222, but they're going to make it there. This person didn't give up. That's all it's about. Just don't give up. Okay? Anybody can make it out of the dark. It's like you have to stay dedicated. Where it go? It was just out here, y'all. Staying dedicated. Right here. 717. Remain open, optimistic, and dedicated. Angel number 717. You got to stay dedicated. Okay? Know that you can get through any difficult times and still move forward with a positive mind. Because your angels are encouraging you and giving you support and strength as you get rid of fears, negative emotions, and things that hold you back. That's why I was, that's why Spirit told me to get these cards. And these are cards that I had, that I made a while ago. Okay? This will help a lot of you guys. Okay? And by you continuing to heal, you help your counterpart heal. And everyone else around you heal. Okay? Because anybody that's connected to you, 1333, or around you, is going to heal because you're healing. That's why I said healing is inevitable. They want to be around you. They want to be in your circle group. They want to socialize with you. They want to, they, they got to heal. Okay. I, if you don't, what they say, eight miles that away. Okay. You can have a dolphin. You can be connected to the dolphin spirits, protection, Peace and harmony, playfulness, joy, resurrection, inner strength, cooperation, higher intelligence. Exactly. You got to cooperate with the divine, your spirit guides, in order to um, get your desires met, to get wishes fulfillment. You can't be disobedient and then expect to think that you're going to get blessings. No, you have to be able to listen to whatever you're being guided and told to do. If spirit is telling your ass to get up and move and leave, that's what you need to do. If spirit is telling your ass go do this, that's what you need to do. Stop going against that shit and trying to listen to everybody else. Because only you know where you're supposed to be leading yourself. 1444, but everybody wants to be a follower. Don't nobody want to lead their damn self. 
That's why so many motherfuckers be falling in ditches that they friends made or that they friends gave or that they friends did because ain't nobody paying attention. That's why I say I will always go with that first before anything. Like, what? We not doing that. Mm-mm. And I would sit and ponder on it for, for a minute before I even get to that point where it's like, nah, I'm going to just go ahead, buddy. Buddy, you got it. You got it, buddy. 15, 15, you got it. What's for Scorpio? Sun, moon, rising, and north node. Yeah, the five of wands in reverse. Giving up that fight. Okay, knowing that you can, you, knowing that you're not the only one that can fight these battles. Okay? Releasing, knowing the, the difference between adversity. So you could be a type of person that could have been very strong. Like you just could be like, because I'm a strong person or a strong individual, I can do this on my own. Knowing 15, 55, that you can't do everything on your own. Okay? Sometimes you do got to surrender, release, and leave it to your ancestors to do it for you. And your ancestors is fighting back. They clapping. They tapping ass. Look, all your, all your enemies upside down with the five of wands. 16, 16. Okay? They took you as a joke. And now, who's laughing? It seems like you the one that's laughing now. Because I don't hear that much noise. Do you hear noise? I don't think so. Because they, tame, they taming these people. Look, they upside down. These people that's in the five of wands. That's what I said. It's like choosing your battles wisely. If you know that your battles is going to be taken care of, just, just leave it. Just say, I leave my battles or I give all my battles from the enemies, from whoever, to your spirit guys, ancestors, the most high God, and just release it. And so be it. And then I bet you they'll get the job done because they as upside down to me. Okay? They falling on their own walls. All of them trying to run away. I just see people trying to flee the scene. Everybody want to run. Okay, we got this king of pentacles that's standing in this emperor. This, oh, I say emperor. So it could be this masculine stepping in their emperor energy. Okay. This person could have been trying to fight against this ego death as well. And they was trying their hardest too. That's why I said their ancestors was whipping their ass. This part of this masculine that was getting their ass whipped by their ancestors because they ain't listening. We got the three ones in reverse. This person is no longer waiting or no longer holding still or standing still. This person is wanting to move now. Or they no longer want you to be waiting. What's this three of wands in reverse? Ace of wands. What's this three of wands in reverse? The death card. So, beginnings. Endings brings beginnings. So, this masculine is understanding the assignment now. Is the energy I'm getting out to get they ass whooped by their ancestors. Look, this king of cups. This person is stuck in their emotions. Okay, this person is stuck in love with you. They done fell in love with you. King of cups. And they still, they probably scratching their head because they not understanding how and why. Because this person is so stuck and based on status. And, and having a, a, a very built up, strong built up reputation about themselves, that when it comes to other people, this person just have a I don't give a fuck attitude. Five of ones in reverse. They don't care if they leave you behind. They don't care if they if, if they left your ass. This person was in the energy where they don't care. So what comes in the Ace of Swords? Now this person is wanting a relationship. They wanted to be honest about what they want out of this connection with you. Because remind you, this person wasn't honest at first. This person just thought that they was king dingling. Now, some of you guys can have two, two masculine energies. Two masculine, two masculine energies that's caught up on you to hang on. Okay? They stuck on you. Okay? Because they know they're not going to ever get this energy again. Some of you guys have a very royal black uh, bloodline. Okay? Whoever this masculine is that y'all got blocked, he wants you to take his ass off block. Okay? 
It's funny, y'all, because I'm sitting up here saying that shit, and I ain't going to even take mine off block. Because I got to really get full confirmation now. Because sometimes these masculines that come through, the ma come through very strong with their energy and say, take me off block or tell a, a psychic to tell you to take them off block. As soon as you do, they come with the magic and shit. And it's all the overflow of magic because once you open up their connection, that line, they get tied back in. Like, no, nah, we ain't doing that, buddy. I'm already two, 10 steps ahead of you. We got to do something different. I understand you going through this awakening. But until I get full confirmation that the green light from my ancestors, the spirit guys, then, baby, I'll take you on block. Other than that, you want to stay on block, baby. Okay. Oh, we got the queen of wands. Look, you said public service announcement. <laughs> Look, y'all said public service announcement. Okay. That was my energy right there. You said public service announcement. Okay. You blew the whistle on his ass. <laughs> All right, back to the collective spirit. Okay, it's about my beautiful Scorpios. It's not about me. But this masculine is definitely going through a transformation. Okay, Scorpionic energy right here. Definitely rebirth. Okay. Let's see. Who is this King of Cups that's stuck on the collective? King of Cups or the same masculine or the same energy. So we got Justice. And we have the Eight of Wands in reverse. This person can't move towards you at all. Whoever this King of Cups is that's trying to come towards you or just trying to communicate. This person is blocked off all the way. They throw chakra is all the way closed. Their throw chakra is blocked off, but that's justice though. So this person is supposed to stay closed out. Out of your life. Okay, to keep things balanced. Mm-mm. What's this King of Pentacles got going on? King of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. This person could have went through a betrayal or they betrayed you. What's this Ten of Swords? What's this Ten of... Hold on now. What's this Ten of Swords? Ten of Swords. Three of Pentacles, yet. Yeah. This person got betrayed by somebody that went against them that they put their trust in. Okay. I'm, I'm here to put their faith in. So this person put their faith into somebody that betrayed them. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. This person could have thought that they was the only one in this person's life that they was with. But the whole time they come to find out that they wasn't the only one. Three of Pentacles. In reverse. That's you finding out or figuring out or understanding that somebody else had not just you in this equation. Look, King of Wands. Who is this King of Wands? The Ten of Wands. Yeah. They pride got bruised, all right. This person was all the way deeply in their pride and ego. It got bruised with the Ten of Wands because they got portrayed. So you could be saying Ten Ten. This person don't want nothing to do with the third party no more. They're tired of the fuss and the fight and they over it. It's that over it energy right here. This person is standing in their strength. Taking back their control, taking back power of their self. Hmm. Ten of Swords. I meant, what's this Ten of Wands? Because this person wants this passion in the beginning. Okay, they're getting out of separation. This person don't want to be in separation no more. Three of Wands. This person don't even know how they even, like, because I'm just hearing this person was under a heavy manipulation. <clears throat> Knight of Cups, Two of Wands, Five of Cups, the Star, the Magician, and the Emperor. Let's see. So this person know that they want to give you an apology. This person know that they want to heal. Okay. This person is definitely manifesting you. Okay. They they praying for you. This person is praying for you. Okay. Not praying on you. Like literally praying for you. Hoping that you forgive them. Because they do feel bad about the choice that they made. Two of Wands. And they're wanting to apologize. 
So this person is heavily in your energy. That's how you know this is your divine counterpart. This person is all up in your energy, boo. It's real strong. It's real strong, baby, boo. Boobat. <laughs> I think they're a boobat. Maybe your mask will call you boobat. Boobat. Or something like that. Boobat or stink. Stinkalicious. Some shit y'all got going on. What y'all got going on? Y'all got these little nicknames and shit. Look, Spirit say that's the truth. Y'all got y'all little own little nicknames? Mm-mm. That's nothing new, okay? Somebody talking about some daddy. We already know about daddy, girl. Let's try something else. Let's say something else. Everybody want to be daddy, but they ain't really even fit and qualified to be somebody motherfucking daddy, okay? We just going to put it like that. Everybody want to be daddy and shit in the motherfucking bed. This person must like you calling them daddy, and they eat. Mm-mm-mm. This person here. What's this? Yeah, you can tell they're free. This king of wands. Okay? This person is sexually frustrated. King of wands, ten of wands. Because mm. I guess whatever they thought was going to be something, it ended up to be nothing. Ten of swords. What's the ten of wands? King of Wands, King of Wands, King of Wands, Three of Swords, I'm telling you, a bunch of pain, unrequited love, a bunch of heartache, okay? Five of Swords, Nine of Wands. Mm -mm. Somebody was doing a lot of projecting onto you as well. Or astro traveling. So you can feel this person around you. Energetically. I'm telling you, this person is all up in your damn energy. What's this three of swords? Mm. The nine of cups. This person could be self-retreating is what I heard with this Nine of Cups, Three of Swords, King of Wands. This person could be like self-retreating or trying to retreat, okay? Taking time all to themselves. This person wants to be alone or this person has been by themselves. So this person excommunicated you through your swords because they wanted some alone time. Nine of Cups, King of Wands. Because they was placed in, they did have a lot of burdens on them. Ten of Wands. As well as this person getting betrayed. So they're going through a lot of endings. Abrupt endings. endings. Ten of Swords and the Death Card. Two as though this person don't have no choice but the move. That's that two of ones, three of ones in reverse. Because the universe is shifting this person. And, and, it's, and it's very harsh. I'm not even going to hold you. That's why this person's energy is so strong. That's why they pulling on you. Because this person is going through a shakeup. Because what spirit was trying to get this person the easy way to do it, nine of cups. Trying to get this masculine to do it. When they were supposed to, they didn't want to listen. That's why I said these masculines be stubborn. They be so arrogant, cocky, and stuck in their ways that they feel as though that people are supposed to do as they say and not as they do. Or some shit like that people be saying. This person wanted to be in control. Nine of Cups. They wanted to feel like that they had everything in the bag. They had everything lined up. Everything organized. Everything situated. Not even knowing that this person there had shit situated because shit wouldn't be the ten of wands. Full of burdens and baggage. Okay, blockages, being delayed. Because this person was coming from an unhealed space. Because this person was still wounded. That was that nine of wands. Sitting up here using the gift of gag. To keep, to hold on to your energy. <laughs> yeah, the queen of pentacles. You the queen of pentacles. Mm -mm -mm. 
Mm. What's this nine of cups? This person even could have could have like three homeboys or three of their buddies that they could have got caught up into. But I'm gonna keep it going. That ain't my business. We're gonna keep it going though. But just know your person got caught up with three friends. And that's it, and that's all, folks. But anyway, we're gonna keep it moving. What's this nine of cups? Three of Pentacles in reverse. That shit ain't even go how it's supposed to. Five of Wands in reverse, three of Wands, three of Pentacles in reverse. With the Tennis Fools, hell no. You should have knew not to trust these motherfuckers no way. But we gonna keep it going. What's this Nine of Cups? What's this Nine of Cups? The Nine of Wands, I'm telling you. The way that this person is being shifted and going through this damn awakening, it's like never before. This is something that this masculine ain't ever experienced. Like, it's really rocking this masculine's world. Like, it could be kind of like scaring this person. Okay? Nine of Wands. Like, it's causing a lot of the triggers, unhealed wounds within this masculine. Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords, and the Three of Swords. That's a lot of unhealed energy. Because this masculine was comfortable for too long. In this community, this social group, whoever they was affiliating themselves with. But Spirit was like, okay, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt with this Nine of Cups to choose to go through this spiritual awakening and take this brand new beginning. 3131. This person wanted to sit up here and thought that they had everything together. They was calling all the shots. We're going to keep it moving. I ain't even trying to tap into what they got going on with their friends. Because, who, who, anyway, yeah, this person needs to heal. Queen Blank Curry, the star card, the cherry, and the empress. Yeah, you're, you're moving up to star status. Well, some of you guys are already there, okay? Like, you are governed by the celestial realm. Someone's mom or aunt could be a police officer. I heard a government official. So someone that's like a government official. Or you can have an ancestor that's a government official in the spiritual realm. Okay, that's protecting you. Okay. Or you got assigned new spirit guides. And baby, y'all got a lot going on over here. Scorpios. But you definitely have an ancestor in the spiritual realm that's a government official. That's protecting you with the uh, shrimp card. What I'm saying is just a freaking mess, y'all. That's why I say I'm not about to get into this with this person. With, with whoever this masculine energy is, it's not my business to. Okay? <laughs> I ain't got, I'm not saying shit. But the two of cups. Okay? This person feel spiritually drawn to you. They want to come towards you. They want to connect with you. Okay? Some of you guys can live by a lighthouse or something about a lighthouse or something about a beach or something about some water or near water or whatever the case may be. Y'all figure it out. But I'm about to get up off here because what I'm seeing... Ooh, baby. Okay. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, and subscribe and hit that bell notification. Peace.